I recently, as in about a month ago, watched this trailer for this upcoming game made by Nomada Studio called Neva. Or Neva, or maybe Neva, or just... Neva. Right, Neva. It was this gorgeous trailer which looked more like an animated film than it did a video game. This trailer had the ability to make me emotionally invested in a story I had known nothing about in just two minutes, without a single line of dialogue, just music and visuals. Unfortunately, it's not out yet, and it might be a while before it is, but there is a game that came before called... Crap, uh... Gris? Grice, or... I wonder how pronounced... Grease. Alright, let me try that again. It was this game called... Developed by Nomado Studio and published by Devolver Digital on December 13th, 2018, it's a story without a single word being spoken. Despite that fact, the game isn't entirely voiceless. It's a game that takes the saying, show not tell, to the absolute extreme, using stunning sights and metaphorical visuals to craft its narrative, along with conveying its meaning. On the outside, the meaning of Greece is that it's simply a platformer following a girl around this colorful world. In this world, you discover these new powers that add to the core gameplay of solving puzzles that act as unique obstacles for the player to get over. And it's very much so a walking simulator. You know you walk in a straight line to get to one destination, get whatever it is you're looking for, whether it be a new power or these little orb things that help you progress then you turn around and walk in a straight line again. However, instead of it being this tedious, mind-numbing task, Grease finds a way to engross you into the world with its vivid scenery and music. I mean, just holding the D key and walking in one direction can't be boring when you're faced with such breathtaking landscapes and such an amazing soundtrack. Besides that, even though walking in one direction and occasionally jumping may not exactly be an engaging challenge, that's because it just isn't. It's not a game that'll make you tear your hair out in frustration, and won't leave you a broken mess of a person, and if you enjoy a unique form of storytelling, or just a unique story in general, it won't leave you disappointed. Quite frankly, it's not a game that you attempt to beat, but rather it's a story that you try to follow. Because Greece is not just a platformer with small puzzles, but instead on the inside, its meaning is a story about loss. At the beginning of the game, the main character you follow sits peacefully on the hand of a statue as she harmonizes with the music being played. Suddenly, 
she's singing, she loses her voice, and the hand of the statue starts to crack and breaks from under her. Starting this very beautiful falling sequence as the credits roll. Honestly, every part of this game is beautiful, so that's a given. But as she finally lands, she then begins her grieving process. Starting with denial, then anger, bargaining, depression, and then she attempts to reach acceptance. As she progresses towards acceptance, she's able to bring color into the world that was once gray and colorless. This idea and overall atmosphere of the game was made possible by the team members from Namada Studio who were able to bring such an artful representation to such a sorrowful yet real feeling. We're looking at the team behind Greece, which consisted of not a lot of people, it's astonishing how such a medium of storytelling was ever produced. The minds behind the development, the music, and the art direction are just beautiful. It has such a beautiful concept for an already beautiful game, I and mean, have I mentioned this game is beautiful yet? Because it is. Honestly, me trying to get you to check out a game that can so masterfully tell a story with no words by me dumping paragraphs upon paragraphs of words on you just doesn't do the game justice. So please, just check out Grease, and also Neva when it comes out. And I'm just gonna shut up now and let the video do the rest of the talking. So you're approaching the end of, of this project. How do you feel now? Honestly, I think we, we really had an amazing experience doing it. Mm -hmm. It was a great thing we did it. I think the end product uh, is very similar to what it had in mind. Yep. So we are very happy with the, with the results. So it's like, I hope people like it, but if they don't, it's like, well, I'm sorry, but we like it. We think it's a really <laughs> good thing. I think you should try it because even that you might think it's not the you're type right. of your type of game, you should try, honestly, it's, yeah. it's really a special thing. And we put our hearts on it.